Well, hello, hello, hello. My wife said hello. We are heading out to Minneapolis. And I just want to say a real quick thing. Like I said, on May 15th, for all the May 14th date setters, a lot of people on the internet were saying June 6th, June 6th, June 6th. Man, I, I'm, I'm just telling you guys as brothers and sisters, quit listening to all this. It veers you away from listening to Christ. It veers you away from from having faith in Christ. It, it's it's these people panic, and each month they set a new date. They set a new date. They panic. Look, the Bible tells us in the four Gospels, Jesus said, they'll tell you, lo here and lo here, there is Christ and here is Christ. Do not listen to them. Do not listen to them. And he told you, yeah, we should know the signs of the times. He also said in the book of Luke, you know the signs of the sky, the weather, but you don't know the signs of the time. We know the signs of the time are here. And this ain't a, a date setting thing, but we would be fools to think that with all things going on, that we'd be lucky if this earth was here another 10 years. But man, it was just, it was not even a full month ago, people were saying May 14th, May 14th because of a blood moon. And then I kept hearing people say June 6th, June 6th. We are not to be listening to date setters as Christians. We are to be staying in the focus of the blood of Jesus and to get people to know who Jesus is. So when the day comes as a thief in the night, and when it says a thief in the night, that means that not a single soul on this earth will expect it. It means it'll be a thief just like it. it if you expected when a thief breaks into your house, you wouldn't let him break in. And that's why the Bible says that the day of the Lord will be like a thief in the night because there ain't going to be you, Tom, Joe, Harry, Sally, anyone on this earth that knows when Jesus comes. We just know the signs, the times, and we get people to know Christ. Much love to you.